What's going on guys? My name is Duggar, always on board, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to create this. Um, it's text, and then there's gonna be a reflection that's underneath the text, so it's text reflection. And it's gonna be pretty basic, hopefully you guys are able to follow along, and I'm gonna to try to make it pretty straightforward, so let's do this. First thing that you wanna do is hit Command N, so that's a new composition, and then 1280 by 720, black background duration, it doesn't matter, and frame rate 29.97, that doesn't really matter. Uh, the composition settings at the top, you can actually change that to whatever you'd like. So I can put Doug, click on OK. And so the first thing that I want to do is make it to where the composition looks nice. So I'm going to make a vignette. Uh, right click down here, New, Solid, or you can hit Command Y. And then we're going to make a white background. So click on OK. And then from here, there's the ellipse tool up here. And if you don't see this, you can just click and hold and then decide which one you want to use. I'm going to use the ellipse tool. And with uh, that, you just double click. And so it makes an ellipse right down the middle so that you can make a vignette. And then from here, what we're gonna make, uh, actually what we're gonna do is make sure that the, the layer is selected and click on F, and that brings up a feather. And then we're gonna feather the crap out of that so that it looks nice. So that looks fine for me. And then I'm gonna lock it just so that it doesn't mess up later. And so this is where we get to the actual um, applying text. So what you need to do is you can click up here on this text tool or type tool, and then you can put it wherever you'd like. But for me, I'm just gonna right click new right click new and text and what that does is it puts it towards the middle and that's where I want it and then I'm gonna type in Doug and then from here I'm gonna make sure that um, I duplicate the layer because we need a reflection so you click on your text layer and then you hit command D and what that does is it duplicates that layer and then I'm gonna bring that layer below it because I'm gonna make that part the reflection so uh, the next step in this process would probably be to uh, name this one reflection just so that you know which layer it is that you're working with. So click on uh, return. And then from there we can just type in reflection and then click on return again so that it goes in there. And then from here what we need to do is make it to where you actually see the reflection. So we're gonna flip this text upside down and we're gonna be doing that by hitting S which stands for scale. And then you're gonna click this constraint thing off so that it doesn't mess with it. So what happens is uh, usually when you change the first one, the second one moves as well. And we don't want that. So on the second 100%, what we wanna do is make that minus 100 and then click okay. And what that does is it uh, flips it right underneath it perfectly the way you want it. And so yeah, that's, that's basically the reflection. So I'll see, just kidding. So what we need to do now is we need to make it to where it fades off um, from Doug so that it looks nice. So we wanna go up here to effects and presets and if you don't have yours right here, uh, you actually, you probably most likely won't just because I have a bigger screen, I have that. It'll be over here and if not, go up to window and then effects the presets and it'll show. So now what we need to do is we need to search for linear wipe. So linear wipe right here, it's a transition. We're gonna click and drag that onto the reflection text and then what that does, it brings up settings up here in your effects controls. And then we're gonna need to change some settings before we get a reflection. So what we need to do is right here, it says wipe angle. It says it's at 90 degrees. What we need to do is hit that to zero. And so that makes it to where uh, whenever I apply this transition, it goes down instead of right. Um, and so what we need to do here is transition completion. You can drag this over to where um, it shows about this much. So actually you can decide where you want it. And then obviously that doesn't look realistic. So what we need to do is go over here to feather and then we can just bump this up. And then let's see, we can just toy around with it. So 44% looks about right with a 78% feather. Um, and so that looks like a, a pretty good reflection, but this is too dark for my liking. So what I would do is highlight over your reflection and click on T which brings up opacity, and then you drop that 100% opacity down to, let's say, uh, that looks pretty good right there, like 42%. I mean, it's all what you think looks good. So um, that's a reflection from text. I hope you guys were able to follow along. I'm pretty fast with this, but I like to be straightforward. So go ahead and like the video if you liked it, and go ahead and leave some feedback and check out the videos at the end of this video. For more tutorials, my name is Doug, or always on board, and I would love it if you left some feedback. Um, I'll talk to you guys later.